Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and rough out an animation using the paperless tools that I've shown you, including my custom brushes. Now I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you our new character called Hoshi. I'm going to introduce Hoshi. Hoshi is a new character developed by Toon Boom, which has no animation to it. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my brushes and then start looking at making this character jump. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the character assets that was given to me by Toon Boom and make the character jump. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the character that was provided by Toon Boom and then go ahead and do the animation to make the character jump. So the first thing I'm going to do is check my brushes and make sure they're ready for work. And then the next step is I'm going to make a rough outline of the shapes that I'm going to use to animate. The next step I'm going to do is make a rough outline of the shapes I'm going to use to animate this character. The first thing is I'm going to outline the head shape and the body shape because those are the two biggest masses. And then I will do the ears next. As I start working with this character, you will see me refine the brushes to make sure that I have what I need and feel good working with them. As I refine my brushes, you will see that I'm trying to make them perfect for what I need to do this work. Now one trick I wish to tell you is that I'm using the red brush to draw behind the character because this will be animated behind the character and it's okay if I use red. So that way I know what's in front is black and what is behind is red. The next thing I will do is draw the key pose at the end, which is the final pose that the uh, character will make when he is jumping. So I will do the same thing. I will draw the rough shapes of the head and the body because those are the two biggest masses and just roughly outline them so I can do shape animation with the Harmony tools. So now that I have my rough shapes outlined using the Toon Boom Harmony tools, and this is important that I'm using the drawing tools, then I can go ahead and start working on my breakdowns and in-betweens using the onion skin tool and all the other tools that I have with the software. Uh, the drawing lines are very nice and robust. That way I can go ahead and see them, manipulate them, bend them, and basically translate them into the positions that they need to be for the breakdowns and for the in-betweens. I will go through and start setting up my keyframes. I will start setting up my keyframes. I will go ahead and make a in-between just to get warmed up because it's going to be some work to get this character to move. So just so you know, I'm doing a style called pose to pose. I have basically pose A and pose B and I'm going to try to get all the drawings in between those poses to make it look like the character is jumping fluidly. So um, it will be some work. Now I'm going to go ahead and warm up doing one in between and getting familiar with the uh, basic features of this character, which you know, you'll see the head, the wings, the ears. I want to get those to work first before I go ahead and do any details. 
and then I will go ahead and do the details later. Sometimes you'll see me use the red pencil and that is for me just to know that there is a body part over or under or something to be aware of. Later I will turn this to black because um, all my pencil lines will be black. And then also um, I will switch over to the drawing view because actually the drawing view is much better and faster than the camera view when I'm working in this animation. Sometimes I like to work in the drawing view compared to the camera view because it's just cleaner and easier for me to do animation in it. So I will continue my work for gaining the character animation done using the drawing view. So I will continue to work to get my character animation done using the drawing view. Also I draw a quick little chart to let me know where I want to have the ease in and ease out for the character. So that way I can do my animation. So for animation, I do a method which is called feature point animation. I take a point of a feature and I try to follow it through the path of motion. And this takes practice, but this is kind of where I've learned to do in-betweens and making sure that my in-betweens are on model or accurate as I move from frame to frame. It takes time to learn, but once you have gotten used to it, you can actually animate faster this way, basically drawing from feature to feature. Also, I'm going to switch my onion skin to advanced because I need the feature of it to be able to see different types of frames in the timeline. So also, I'm going to need the onion skin tool to be in advanced mode. So that way I can see the frames in different time with opacity. And this is where you want to be with your rough animation. You don't want to go ahead and do too much details. Save the, don't do the, saving the face or the body texture or even the tail texture for later. Just focus on basic form animation. That way, a, that way you can see the motion much easier and do the work faster. And you can flow, and you can flow very fast, and you can flow very fast doing animation, which is what you need to do. One thing I like about Toon Boom Harmony is that all the brushes, one thing I like about Toon Boom Harmony is that all the brush strokes are very manipulatable. One thing I like about Toon Boom Harmony is that all the brush strokes are highly manipulatable. One thing I like about Toon Boom Harmony is that the brush strokes are very easy to manipulate. I can go in and bend and stretch every single one of those brush strokes to go into the position to go into a position that I feel is necessary for the in-between. Um, when I'm working with Photoshop or even TV paint, you can't really go in and bend and stretch those brush lines because they are just bitmap. But when I go ahead and use Toon Boom Harmony, I can bend, stretch, uh, elongate, and do anything I want with those brush strokes. And they're still just brush strokes because they are something called vector texture. Uh, because 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 they are called something because they are called textured vector brushstrokes, they have the feeling of bitmap, but they 
but they move and act like vector, like uh, bendable tools. And I can stretch them using different types of tools that you'll see. Uh, and I can bend them using the uh, and I can bend them using the perspective tool or the transform tool or even the uh, warp tool to get them to be where I need them to be for the in-between. So for the rest of this project, it's pretty much a repetition of using the advanced ending skin tool, using my drawing tools, uh, going back and forth between the frames to see where I want the position to be, and then checking the pencil test uh, using Toon Boom Harmony. Um, it's very easy to see how the character is doing and you know making sure that he's squashing and stretching, uh, making sure he ease in, ease out and uh, some other things that are important, such as staying on model, making sure the volume is consistent, making sure the volume is consistent, making sure that I, I draw through the character in a 3D format, and then, you know, just overall checking everything to get the rough animation done. After I finish the rough animation, then I will proceed to do a detail pass of the face and some parts of the body. And then I can go ahead and start working on the line as well. One final note is that I'm not worried about his final position. I can draw where he is right now and then reposition him using the peg tool and position him where he needs to be for his final animation. I can still draw while he's in position with the peg tool or I can put him back in original position and just draw there. The lines that I draw will resize using the Harmony Line Resize tool, so it's no problem to go ahead and do final lines in this position, and then I can scale him and put him in his final position. And the final lines, the ink lines, will scale with the size.